Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. Today we will have a discussion on linked list. In this video, we will discuss how we can calculate length of linked list using iterative and recursive way. If we see the linked list in front of our screen, if we calculate the length of linked list, it will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is 4 nodes of linked list. Now we will calculate length of linked list iteratively for which there will be head of linked list which is pointing towards first node of linked list which is D. So here we have assigned temporary node for head. Temporary node is pointing towards head now. So I'll write temp node separately which is pointing towards D now. And then we will initialize count as 0. So first we will enter into while loop where it will check whether temporary node is not equal to none. Here temporary node is pointing towards D. So it will go inside the while loop and count will get incremented by 1. And temp node which is at D dot next, D dot next is at g. It will go to while loop now and will check whether temporary node is not equal to none. Temporary node is pointing towards g. So it will go inside while loop and count will get incremented by 1 which is 2. And temporary node is g. g dot next is r. So temporary node is at r now. Then again it will go to while loop and will check whether temporary node is not equal to none. Yes, it is not equal to none as temporary node is pointing towards R. So it will go inside while loop and count will get incremented by 1. So it is now 3 and temporary node is R. R dot next is O. So temporary node is at O. The last node next is always be none. So I am just putting the sign of none over here. Then again it will go to while loop and will check whether temporary node is not equal to none. Temporary node is at O now. So it will go inside while loop and count will get incremented by 1. 3 plus 1 is 4 and temporary node is O. O dot next. So O dot next is whatever there is in this block, this is always pointing towards next. Like D's next will always the address which is pointing towards G. So now temporary node is at none. So I'll write the symbol none. So now this time when it will go to while loop, it will ask whether temporary node is not equal to none. But here it is equal to none. So it will come outside the while loop and will print count. Count is 4. So length of linked list here is 4. Now let us see how we can calculate recursively. So for calculating recursively, first we should have a base case. Base case that if node is equal to none, it should return 0. So let's start. This is the head of the linked list. So this time it will check whether the node which we have here is equal to none. But node is D there. So it will go to else part and will return 1 plus. So I'll write 1 plus and will make a block g g stands for get count node dot next node dot next is d's next is g so i'll write g so for identifying i'll write get now when we call get count node dot next which is g so it will count 
then it will check the base case is note is equal to none so for note dot next it will again return one plus so i'll write one plus and will make a block with get because again it will call for node dot next that means g dot next so g dot next is r so here it will be r so now our pointer will point to r and again it will go for recursion for 1 plus so i'll write 1 plus and we will have get count which is g e t node dot next that means here it is pointing to r so r dot next r dot next is o so here it will write o and we will close the block and our pointer will point to o now as here then it will return 1 plus get count so i'll write 1 plus and will make a block get and this time node is o o dot next as you can see o dot next is none over here so i'll write none o dot next is none so our pointer will point towards none now so now our pointer is at none but for none when our node will be equal to none that means this is our base case it should return zero so get none is zero so here we got one plus zero as one and it will return to get o get o is one one plus one is two so this will return to get r which is two then one plus two is three so three will get returned to get g and one plus three is equal to four four is the length of linked list so this is how we can calculate length of linked list recursively now let us check the both ways iteratively and recursively with python program here on pycharm i have defined class list node with which we have defined all the nodes and how they are connected with each other first of all let's write iterative way so here we have written the program we will run it here we got 4 similarly we will check for length recursive so this is our length recursive and instead of head i have written node for understanding purpose i have written their head as head was pointing towards d so when i run the program here we got 4 in this case as well so this is how we can calculate length of linked list using iteration and recursion so please like and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.